Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is the Bradford City versus Crawley Town vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 60 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video of when I upload but today it's Crawley at home they're not on the greatest run of form at the moment whereas us we picked up 10 points from our last possible 12 in terms of a score prediction I'm going to go with a 2-0 to Bradford City. I'm going to go with Danny Rowe and I'm going to go with Paudy O'Connor to get the goals for the Bantams. Your score predictions should have come up on screen now. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on to today's team news. Hopefully today we can make it five games undefeated. It is our game in hand on a lot of teams who are placed sixth or higher. We're only three points off the playoffs. If results do go our way tonight, we could maybe sneak into that seventh place. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on to today's team news. Here we have it then, team news for today's game at home to Crawley. I mean, as always, the formation is not the correct one. I don't know why we do that, but I mean, it, it wound up Port Hurst in the last game. So, it on paper looks like a 3-4-1-2, but it probably will be a 4-2-3-1. Three changes, though, from the 1-0 victory at the weekend over Grimsby. Danny Rowe, Kean Scales and Charles Burnham all come into the side with Clayton Donaldson, Andy Cook and Billy Clark all dropping to the bench. It's definitely a strong side. I don't know what Evans is doing. Well, not necessarily what he's doing, but what he actually offers to still be playing, when you play, especially when you've got players like Stevens and Crankshaw. Stevens hasn't really been given an opportunity yet. I feel like against Crawl, it would have been a great opportunity to see him you know what I mean, get a, a, a long amount of time. We've only seen him have one start so far for us and I thought he was okay in that. So would have liked to see Steven start over Evans. Apart from that, it's a pretty strong side. Happy to see Kean Scales back in there. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's game. We've dark green Here we have them, former Bantam. Josh Wright gets us underway. Hopefully Elliot Watt can go through him at some point during today's game. But we are underway, another must win. It's a big game today, come on, see. Crawley has started brightly here on this right-hand side with number 20. He cuts inside past Evans and Wood, crosses the ball in, but that's over everybody. And now for a goal kick. Just over 60 seconds on the clock, Crawley with the first half chance of the game. Elliot Watt on the ball, he shoots from distance, but it's bounced a few, fair few times there. And Crawley's keeper will comfortably save that. Two and a half minutes gone, still nil-nil. No real chances for either side, but a couple of shots early on, but nothing really troubling either keeper so far. As I said, two and a half minutes gone, still nil nil. Well, we're not even three minutes on the clock, and Josh Wright's gone into the book for what looks like an elbow on Charles Wenham. So he's going to have to be careful for the next 87 plus minutes. But Josh Wright gone in the book very early. Free kick for Crawley. He's launched into the box, headed away by Canavan. Vernon then flicks it away on the second one. It's not clear yet, though. And Nichols on the ball here. Goes out wide to Josh Wright, who's got all the time in the world. Ball goes in. Freer at the back post. And it's in the back of a net. Crawley take the lead. 20 minutes gone. Not the start we wanted at all. Josh Wright's got all the time in the world to whip the ball in. It's a free header at the back post. It's a, it's a good header, to be fair. It's Jordan Tunnicliffe with the goal. It's a good header. It's a good ball in, but... I don't know who's meant to be marking Josh Wright. Probably Evans, to be honest with you. Connor Wood don't close down the ball. And Cousin Dawson gets beat at the back post. And the ball loops over Canavan. <sighs> How many times are we going to concede from not closing down crosses? You you have to close down crosses. 21 minutes gone, Crawley take the lead. Decent little build-up play by the Bantams. And the ball's found itself <laughs> with Gareth Evans who... Whips it in, but it's a terrible ball straight to the keeper. No one's even challenged for it. Elliot Watts saw the ball come in and then just walked straight away from it. No challenge under that. 27 minutes <coughs> gone. Still 1 0 Crawley. Crawley have got a corner. We're going to see a right footed in swinger. Different setup for them as they go for the floor towards the back post. A free kick is given for a foul on Finkers and Dawson. There we have it then. That is half time. Bradford City 0, Crawley 1. And apart from Charles Vernon. Just not good enough really. Venom's the only real one going forward looking to create something. Danny Rowe came alive a little bit in the last five or ten minutes, but apart from that, we've just not been good enough. Once again, we've conceded from a cross. Connor Wood's got to be closing down quicker. Evans has got to be staying with his man. Cousin Dawson needs to stop getting beat in the air. I mean, you know, once again, it's a high disadvantage, but other teams are noticing it now. If you put balls in towards that back post where I think Cousin Dawson's there, you know, more, more times... 
than not, they're going to win him and they're probably going to score because O'Donnell, he doesn't like coming for crosses. He likes to be glued to his goal line. And, you know, going forward, we've just not really offered anything. I don't think Scales and Evans have really done anything. Evans is... He keeps throwing the ball away whenever he gives away a free kick when we're the ones that are losing. I'd like to see Stevens and Crankshaw coming at half time, but in reality, I don't think that'll happen. Half time though, Bradford City nil, Crawley won, just not good enough. Welcome to you. Here we have it then. Keen Scales gets us underway for his second half. A much more attacking side out there in his second half. Big performance is needed. Come on, City. Shoot! Oh, what a block! Danny Rowe with a good strike there. It's a good block. From the Crawley playing, Gareth Evans is just completely waiting an opportunity there. He's absolutely just hammered it over the bar. Get him off. Go on, Donaldson. Oh my god, and it's bloody frozen. Brilliant. Well, cheers, Virgin Media. I'd love to tell you what's happened right now, but all we've got is a buffering screen. So Donaldson's on the ball on the edge of the area, but I have no idea what's happened. Cheers, Virgin. First of three changes now coming for the Bantams. First one is Kian Scales coming off and Levi Sun coming on. The next one is Danny Rowe coming off for Andy Cook. We wanted to see two up top. Why did not just go two up top? Danny Rowe's not even played that bad. Just played two up top. And the final sub is Gareth Evans coming off for Billy Clark. I mean, that is literally the most pointless sub ever. Both of them offer absolutely nothing. But there's 28 minutes to go. We've only got one substitution left. We've gone... Probably a little bit more defensive than attacking with them subs, but let's see if they can make a difference. Well, Donaldson just absolutely clattered one of their players, and it wouldn't surprise me if the card that comes out of the back oh. of the referee's pocket is red. It's not. Wow. <laughs> Somehow only a yellow. I'm surprised that's not a red. From this free kick then that Donaldson given away, probably going to put the ball into the box. Towards the back post, free header, game over. Game over. Game over. Ew. Joe McNary with a goal, and that's game over. If we'd have won tonight, we'd have been one point off the playoffs. Now we're four, and that's probably season done. There's no way you, you, we've got to pretty, we've got to win six games out of six, basically. It's a free header. I mean, Pardy's the closest one to him, but it doesn't look like it's meant to be his man. Not good enough. Just not good enough tonight. They've not shown up. They don't deserve it. They, don't, they simply don't deserve it. Shocking. I mean, I don't know why Donaldson's going in two-footed in the first place to give away the to give away the free kick, but that's game over. Just not good enough. Just not good enough. You you cannot do that. We one. It's another set piece as well. Another cross into the box. It's like we're playing against a team who is six foot seven and we're all five foot three that's what you'd think with the amount of time to concede from a set piece or from a cross three minutes to go till the 90th minute game's over i'm just going to turn it off now well there's still two minutes left on the clock but i'm just going to leave today's video here i think i've already summed today's game up pretty well in the last clip you're seeing from crawley's goal just not good enough they just seem to not care that you know what i mean we had two big games the two big games and against scunthorpe and tonight against crawley we've lost them both two and ill we've just not shown up there is still six games to go you know what i mean it's not mathematically impossible it's only four points but with our recent two performances i can't see us getting anything out of this and the players are starting to lose their heads billy clark stamped on him and their players absolutely furious with him He's trying to cause a scrap with him. Billy Clark's just n doesn't care. But yeah, I'm just going to leave today's video here. If you've somehow enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like on it. Not that it matters because YouTube just likes to remove the likes anyway. Subscribe if you are new as well. We've got Harry Get Away on Saturday. So the next video will be out on Thursday for the match preview. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.